my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for cancers sun moon and rising very quick update i want to let you guys know that we are currently having our merch out for sale now so definitely check that out you'll be able to find my information on the description box below we have backdrops we have um, coffee mugs we have hats we have sweatshirts hoodies muscle shirts for this crazy ass hot weather <laughs> so you'll be able to find all that information on there so anyways on to your reading cancer as you guys can see we've already pulled out the cards for you so let's jump right into your reading now in regards to your finances with the element of air you have the king of wands so for some of you cancers out there you're going to be dealing with a lot of type of fiery energy this could represent a sagittarius leo or Aries person doesn't have to be their sun could be their um, moon or rising as well this is a very fiery type of person this is a person that radiates a lot of confidence and for some of you guys it could represent being a little bit intimidated by this person nonetheless the king of cups is a person that is very focused and does not fear to go through um, to go for what they love or what they like or what they enjoy whether it's temporary or not um, the King of Wands could also represent having the lack of confidence on your part, Cancer. So try the best you can to tap into that energy of confidence. Radiate. Know that people usually respond to energy before you even introduce yourself. So believe in yourself. There is a difference between believing in yourself and being confident and a completely whole different aspect of just being... Um, coming off as douchey or coming off as too confident uh coming off as arrogant is what i'm hearing so try the best you can to balance that out this could represent you or it could represent the person that you'll be communicating with or having great communication with for the month of august now in regards to your finances you have the seven of pentacles so the seven of pentacles is working very very hard towards achieving some type of stability in regards to finances. For some of you guys, it's recently starting a new job. For others of you, it could represent you've been working for the past three years or three months very hard towards being able to achieve some type of goal. This could be uh, saving money to get a house, saving money to get your own car, that type of energy. But the Seven of Pentacles can also represent looking towards the past or looking towards a person of an earth sign that is from your past. So an earth sign would be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Now, with this judgment card right next to it, this is what it's it's basically leading me to um, to tell you guys or advise you guys that for the month of August, be very careful to act on a certain type of emotions that are connected to your past, very directly connected to your past. So on a grander scale what this means is for those of you for those cancers out there that are currently dealing with a new person that's that's came into your life or that you're getting to know and this is why you're coming off as the king of wands because you're very ignited you're very passionate you're very intense you feel this connection very deeply be very careful not to do certain so I'm hearing, okay, so I'm hearing multiple messages. For some of you guys, it could represent that in the past relationship, because you guys dealt with some type of betrayal or some type of letdown, you feel the need to be almost like overdoing. So you could feel that you, or, or this could be a natural defensive mechanism where you feel like you have to recompensate for something that you feel the person from your past made you feel. So this could be uh, whether it's a feeling of not being enough, whether it's a feeling of, you know, if, if I give too much freedom to this person and I don't constantly text them or constantly call them 24-7, then they can lose interest, that type of ordeal. Be very careful not to overdo that because what the cards are telling you is with the judgment card, there is a lot of things that have been suppressed from the past that are going to come out and they're coming out for you to acknowledge them and to cut them, you know, pretty much cut them from uh, by the tail, automatically snip that and stop doing that because 
if you don't, then you're going to quickly come to the understanding that in reality, you're self-sabotaging yourself. So you're doing these things that you feel like you have to do because maybe in the past that's something that you didn't do. Maybe you're very protective and you didn't want to, you know, go through that hurt. So you kind of stop trying and, and going into this new connection that recently happened, you may feel like you have to overdo so you can keep them interested. So you could keep them pretty much, you know, continuously giving you the opportunity of getting to know you. Sweetheart, stop doing that. Don't overdo it. Because when you overdo it, pe you can come off to people as extremely needy. You can come off to people as, you know, this person really doesn't have a lot of things going on. And that's why they have, you know, this incredible need to completely bombard me all day long. Like, take a deep breath, Cancer. Take a deep breath and let go of control. Let go of the fear of even rejection for some of you guys it could be that you're overdoing because you feel like you may be rejected if you don't don't do that to yourself okay i don't want you to come off to a person that may be a good person for you i don't want you to come off as you know someone that is extremely clingy because that could be a major turnoff to some people so again now, with the ace, uh, sorry, with the king of wands, this could represent the person that is very passionate about a business or about something that they do. So try the best you can to balance that, that over need to overdo. I keep hearing overdoing. So I don't know what this means to you guys. Uh, it could mean a multitude of things, but just don't overdo. Don't oversell yourself. Try the best you can to just be yourself. Be yourself, and if a person is going to fall for you, let them fall for the real you versus feeling like they're falling for someone, an idea of what you're trying to portray. Be honest, be sincere to yourself. For others to truly understand your nature, to appreciate who you really are, do not overdo. For men out there, do not overspend, do not, you know, bombard the woman of interest with presents because you're giving off the wrong impression for women out there do not over text do not over call do not you know if you're barely in the stages of getting to know this person do not overshare because oversharing can also be a major turnoff because it speaks volumes about yourself your character and your insecurity so be very careful with that cancer now you do have again like i said the judgment card and you have the three of swords so i feel that for some of you guys this doesn't necessarily mean obviously you know betrayal with the three of swords i feel that this has more to do connected to the past um and there's this fear of like being alone am i always going to be alone am i always going to be um misunderstood that type of self-talk that continuously happens in your mind cancer you need to understand that when you're ready you'll know you're ready do not rush it do not rush yourself do not rush into getting into any type of relationship because of loneliness because of unhappiness and any other person is not going to make you whole another person is not going to make you happy you have to start with yourself in order to understand whatever void you feel inside you. To understand the hurt that you may still be carrying from past relationships. Heal. And when you're ready to move forward, you'll know. Because it won't be forced. And whoever is going to fall for the beautiful soul that you are, Cancer. Let it be because you've shown yourself and only yourself. Versus them falling for something that is not real or smoked mirrors or something that you've tried to portray be yourself cancer now spirit's advice here is the seven of cups seven of cups could represent having a lot of choices so i feel that for the month of august it's going to be a catalyst for you guys in regards to love and romance you may be pulling a lot of attention you may be mingling with a lot of people, you're quickly starting to notice that people are giving you attention. Here's the advice. 
which is the most important advice. It's nice to feel wanted. It's nice to feel desired, to feel like people are trying to pursue you. But do not entertain the idea or do not entertain a multitude of suitors, whether it's male or female, to fill your ego because you may miss out on the person that's right for you. So on a grander scale, what this means is you will have options. You will have opportunities come and arise for the month of August. The thing here is give your attention, effort, and getting to know someone that has more of the qualities that you possess or that give you balance versus giving your attention to everyone because out of giving that attention to everyone, there's going to be that one person that's right for you, but is not going to be putting up with BS or drama that they quickly come to realize that maybe your attention is elsewhere and they have absolutely no problem walking away, okay? Now, for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship, with the Three of Swords and the Judgment card, I feel that for some of you guys, it could be that you went back to a relationship where there was some cheating or third-party type of energy. And again, the desire and the want to rebuild that relationship was so strong that you kind of lost yourself along the way. And... As a spiritual advice, the Seven of Cups is telling you, stop losing yourself in this relationship. Stop losing yourself in trying to change someone that does not want to change. Because the only one ultimately that is changing along the way and through this process is yourself. Till it becomes a point where you look at yourself in the mirror and you're only a fragment of what you were. So put that into perspective and understand that if this relationship has been broken, let it go. Walk away. Love yourself enough that you will not allow yourself to lose your true self, your true identity in the hopes or aspirations of looking through looking through illusion, looking through hopes that may not work and you're so fixated in the desire of changing this person not for yourself or for them but for the people that have doubted that relationship you're doing it for all the wrong reasons so walk away from this if it's quickly coming back to feeling almost as if you're going through the same process all over again cancer I hope this did not resonate with some of you guys. Uh, take the messages for what they are. Light and love to all of you guys. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.